Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be printing Flash Forge flexible PLA filament. The print temperature is 190 to 230, which is the same as basic PLA. I've never printed in this material, but supposedly it reacts very similar to normal um, basic PLA. Uh, so in the slicing software, I've kept the slice profile for standard and chosen the material type as normal Flashforge PLA because they didn't have the flexible PLA option. They did have TPU, which I do think um, would potentially work. And um, if this doesn't go well, I might try that setting. But for a test print, I've kept it as the basic PLA material type. And in general, I went down to the retraction speed and move that from 40 to 30 which is recommended and then i just grabbed this low poly snorlax file i've already loaded up the flexible pli this material is wild since i've never printed in it i didn't know how it would actually get through here usually the basic pla which is a bit more brittle has a hard time getting through so I didn't know how this flexible thing was gonna push through this. But nevertheless, I did it. And here, I'll do it again for you guys. So it's out now. Look how flexible. Now I'm not gonna be able to do it. Just like that. So pretty easy once you get that initial snap in but prior to getting that in there i really didn't know if it was going to be able to because it's kind of tough but as you can see got it out now i'm gonna do the filament change what i didn't mean to double tap that <laughs> so this will just heat up really quick Should be in. I want to see how it extrudes because it looks. Oh wow, there it is. It doesn't look. Yeah, it doesn't look much different. I mean, you guys can see. All right, I'm gonna send this over to the printer. And then we should be good. I'm not gonna monitor this too much with the camera. I'm only gonna get probably the first initial layers and some in the middle, um, depending on how it's looking. As time's going on, I have quickly noticed the basic Flash Forge PLA settings is way too fast for this flexible PLA. It started with the infill pattern not being um, correct. You could tell it was just too fast and it wasn't extruding quick enough. I think I'll let this go for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna slice it with the TPU settings and we can compare. I'm gonna make the executive decision to stop this just because I want to see how these settings perform. I've scaled the Snorlax down, so it's only a 25 minute print, just because I want to see the quality of this. Alright, let's see how this is. Pretty funky looking. Ah, oh, this feels so weird. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Super flexible. I do like it though. It's a lit it's like still tough. It's not it's not weak. As I was saying though, this no bueno. It should just be a solid grid. Kinda look, looking like this. It should look like that. So the TPU slice setting print is going now. 
it looks so much better. Um, I do think that the flexible PLA is a much closer relative to TPU um, rather than PLA. I thought it was going to be the other way around. The flexibility, it just makes sense that printing with the TPU settings is it's giving us the print quality that we want to see for the outer layers as well as the infill. I do think that I scaled down the Snorlax a little bit too much um, compared to the other one. <laughs> I wish there was better lighting for this, but this is definitely the setting that you're going to want to go with. If you're printing flexible PLA and I'd assume TPU. The little Snorlax just finished printing. I'll take that off in a second. But this flexible PLA is an interesting material. It is definitely a lot of fun to uh, try and figure out. And I look forward to printing other stuff with this in the future. Um, maybe I'll try to do one of those airless basketballs or something. This little guy's done, so let's take him off. He looks great. What an awesome finish. <laughs> I almost like him scaled down to the smaller size. Alright, let's see how this comes off the bed. Oh, jeez. It's got really good bed adhesion. Okay. <laughs> Noted. I might need two hands for this. One sec. Wow. That was difficult. This had incredible bed adhesion. I think it tore up my bed plate, but... Still cool. And I'd do it again. So, I'm running it back... I wasn't planning on it, but I didn't like how hard this was to get off the print bed. It was incredibly challenging. I think the bed temperature at 60 degrees Celsius was too hot. So I ran it back with 55 degrees Celsius as the bed temp. And hopefully this one peels off a lot easier. Because when I did this one originally, um, as the PLA settings, it peeled off fine. And this is 55 degrees Celsius bed temperature. All right, y'all, this just finished up. Uh, hopefully it's easier than last time because it was brutal to get off last time. But this material is very fun to print with. Um, I've definitely enjoyed messing around with this flexible PLA. I think I'll probably print a phone case or something next in it, but... Let's see how much easier this is to come off. Oh, shit. Looks like it's the same difficulty. <laughs> okay, I put my phone down, but this was <laughs> so much easier to come off than this last one. Comparatively, this was probably like... I mean, it has this weird surface finish, but I think that's just the PEI bed plate. This one took probably like five minutes to get off. This, right when I put my phone down, I, it just peeled right off pretty easily. Um, like, 10 seconds, not even. So, that is all for this video. Some final comments. When printing with this flexible PLA, I would recommend the lower the bed temperature, the better. It could potentially get rid of this unwanted discoloration and make your lives easier getting the prints off the bed. I would recommend maybe 45, 50 degrees Celsius could be a money spot. Other than that, happy printing. Thanks for watching.